Okay, well, welcome back. As you may have noticed or may have not noticed, the last video, which would have been the bailing video, kind of came to an abrupt end. Well, there's a reason for that. Because the baler also came to an abrupt stop. the very last windrow and I don't know it was probably maybe only 20 feet long I was just running around cleaning up what was left just to clean the field off only had about a third of a bale in the baler and wouldn't you know there was a nice little uh, stick hiding in there that any other day this baler would have just munched up and ate and rolled up into the bale but it got wedged up in there just right that it bent one of the bars and popped the shear pin now it turns out it wasn't as big of a deal as we thought it was uh, the new holland dealer a couple towns over they had like four of them in stock and they're only 36 dollars a piece so all in all, wasn't too bad. As far as I can remember, it's the only incident we've ever had with this baler as far as anything getting broke or screwed up. But it should be a pretty easy fix. And like I was telling my dad, at least it was on the last windrow and not the first. So I'm gonna get the 10 hooked up to the baler and take it up to the other pole building and want to throw that new bar in it and I deflated the air in the bags uh, to raise the gate so we could dig that bale out of there air the bags back up and just kind of give it a good once over and it should be ready to roll again Thank you. 
say so myself. Oh yeah. Nothing to it. And honestly, these things are cheap enough. I might just go and get a couple of these and set them back in the corner. That way if we ever need them again, we have them. video but I'm not really complaining. That was an easy fix. And it doesn't appear that anything else got hurt. Which is also fantastic. Well, that was pretty easy. Now I'm just gonna fire it up, run the chain, shut the gate down, and uh, I'm going to put air back in the airbags because I don't want them to be deflated. So, yeah. Let's do that. same spot on the other side is to put tension on your chain. And right there is the gauge.
I know this isn't going to turn out to be a very long or super interesting video, but I just figured I'd share and show a little bit of the baler. But uh, I think that about does it for this one, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.